Hey guys, welcome back to our virtual programming. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to make a jellyfish craft. And this is part of our Underwater Adventures series. So if you're interested in how to make a jellyfish that looks like this, continue watching. So the first thing that you can do is take a piece of pink paper and you're going to want to make the body of the jellyfish first. So I'm going to take my pencil and I am just going to draw the body of the jellyfish. It kind of looks like a bell, like bell-shaped jellyfish. Now I will tell you this, at the very end of the video, I did use a darker piece of construction paper for my jellyfish. This paper was a little bit um, coming up like kind of white and I wanted my jellyfish to look pinker. So I do switch this up at the end, but I will show you that later on. So keep that in mind. And I'm just trimming my jellyfish into place. You know, you can just trim off the ex the excess paper. All right. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is prepare to make the tentacles. So I really didn't like the the fact that I didn't have enough dark pink paper, or I didn't really have any dark enough pink paper. Um, to make the tentacles. So I just took my marker and I'm going to make a strip or, or actually a square of darkened paper. So here what I did was I just took my square of paper that I used my markers to make darker and I'm just going to cut that square right on out. This is for the tentacles so you're just going to use uh, cut the tentacles out. I'll show you how to do that in the next step. I used purple paper also, so you'll be learning how to do tentacles on the purple paper, but you just use this pink paper just the same and apply the same method. So for when you make the tentacles, you're going to take your paper, whatever color paper you're using, and you're going to do this kind of squiggly line motion, and at the very end I like to do a curly cue, so that's what I'm doing here. And you just kind of got to struggle with it until you get the shape that you want. Um, you just got to move the paper around and just really try to get that shape that you want. And remember, I did do this on the uh, darkened pink paper. Um, I just did not show that, but same method applied there. And then you're just going to cut out the tentacle and repeat this process for more tentacles, but there's another kind of tentacle that I did that doesn't look like a squiggly line so much. It looks more like a caterpillar or maybe um, maybe a hot Cheeto. So you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to do like a kind of like a caterpillar shape if you want this kind of tentacle. If you want to stick with the squiggly lines, that's totally fine too. It's all about what you prefer. So for this step, you're going to be attaching the tentacles to the body of the jellyfish, right? Now I told you that I was going to change the body of the jellyfish, the color of it at least, later. So I will show you that in the next step. But right now, you just want to make sure that all the tentacles are behind the body of it. You want to glue the tentacles behind it so it looks like it's coming out of it and it looks... It just looks better when the top of the tentacle is hidden, almost like it's coming under the je the actual jellyfish. So I would say do that. So I'm just trimming my jellyfish in the shape that I want it to be. And you are going to want to take your glue stick and apply glue onto the body of the jellyfish. And then you're going to stick on the tentacle. I'm just doing like a line at the bottom there to glue all those on. So I'm going to start with one and I like the fact that the curly cue is inward. Um, you kind of want to make sure that if you, if you do curly cues or point them in certain ways, you want to just make sure that it complements the rest of the jellyfish. So I'm just kind of turning the tentacles around in different ways, making it, trying to make it look more, I guess, natural or, you know, kind of fancy. Um, but also you can trim your tentacles as well. 
um, to make it varying in length. I did that. So I'm just kind of sticking them on there as I go and I'll just let you guys see what I do with all of the rest of them. Just strategically placing them where I think that they would look good. Applying more glue when I need it. Trimming them when I need to. And just putting them in there. It's, it's really all about how you want yours to look. You can decide all of this. Just the main thing is glue and stick the tentacles in the back if you want them to look good. Okay. Now this is the tentacle that was caterpillar shaped, I believe, along with the purple one that I showed you guys. It's kind of, the purple one's bigger. Um, so I'm gonna add that purple strand on there. Just gonna glue it down and I'm gonna stick it on there all right so I told you guys I had to fix the body of my jellyfish here it is I made it just about the same way I did um, the first one except I kind of traced the original one the white one um, so it would have a similar shape so now I'm just going to cut down the white edges and make it look neater and I added polka dots too on my jellyfish so that's the way it turned out let me know what you guys think thanks for watching